back. I am excited that you are joining me here today for this video. And if you're new here, my name is Sherry and it's nice to meet you. In today's video, we are going to be doing our favorite wintertime soup recipe. And this is a collab with my great friend Corey from Corey Hart. If you guys have not checked out her channel, make sure you go do it. You guys are going to love her. She is just the sweetest person ever. So yeah, make sure you guys go check out her videos. You guys are absolutely love her and I am so excited to do this collaboration with her. And here helping me today, I have my mother-in-law and she's going to teach me how to make my husband's favorite soup and bread. And I will let her tell you a little bit about what we're making real quick. Well, Sherry, thank you for inviting me to your home and to your kitchen. And it's about time that we've learned to make some of these soups together. When else have we had this moment? I, Never. <laughs> I know, I know, it's kind of crazy. Scott's always loved his homemade soups and so simple. I am so excited to learn how to make this soup because yes. Scott has probably been telling me for a couple years. No kidding. That I should learn no how to kidding. make this soup. Well, so it's about, it's about time. time. Yes. <laughs> All righty. So, so, um, so what soup are we making? It's called cabbage patch soup and it's a local soup. Um, I have a recipe that's in my mom's cookbook that she put together with the Snohomish County, um, what are they called? Homemakers back in the yeah. day, probably about 20 years ago. And she got all of her homemade and they submitted recipes. And this recipe has been a family favorite, so everybody and their cousin makes cabbage patch soup. But apparently you have it. So. I have not. <laughs> so no. very simple ingredients and you too can make it. So anyway, shall we get started? And the bread. We're gonna make some oh, bread. Oh yes, too. we're gonna make bread. Yes. And this is they call it cheaters sourdough. And it's cheaters because you don't have to have sourdough sitting on your counter. You That's crazy. Use, you use yogurt instead. So it's really tasty and it seems for me it turns out every single time. So what can you say about bread? We'll see how it goes today. We'll know if, hey, we, if we want to take a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it turns out well. Right. And guys, as always, this is real life. You are going to hear kids running around. You're going to hear yes. them playing. You're going to see them. And I also forgot to mention Corey Hart's uh, link to her channel will be down in the description box. So just go down there and click on it and check out her video. So, here we are. Here's my young assistant, Blake. <laughs> and he's going to help me today. So, first thing we do, Blake, is we got to get some warm water for our bread. So, we're going to turn on the yeah. faucet. So, now we need to have one and a half cups of warm water. So, here we go. We need to get the other half a cup. One half. Yeah, thank you. Okay. okay. Careful, careful into this little bowl. Here we go. So we put two teaspoons. So be very careful. We put can I do it in that one? All yes, by you myself? can. Yes, you can. You think you can get it in there? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It's got to be level. A little more than that. That's we've got to have enough. That's what makes the bread go up. Yeah. Just dump it in there. Okay. We're gonna move this guy out of the way because we don't need him now. Because we need that honey. Mm -hmm. Now the honey I'm using is actually I've had it for quite a while and it's crystallized. In other words, it's got kind of firm, and that's okay. It just has to be able to melt it. That's why we had the warm water to melt the honey. So there we have it. Oh, we got a spoon. <laughs> it's a measuring cup. Her measuring spoon, yes. I've got to get it all out of there now. I'll hold it still for oh, you. It's kind of going okay. into the sink. Now, you got to mix it. <laughs> Can you do it carefully? Why does it keep going up and down? I think that's pretty good because it can mix in the bowl too. So now I'm going to dump it into the bowl. Can I help? Um, I think I'm going to do this one. You can hold on to one edge if you want. I just got it on your counter, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot to clean up yes, after she leaves. I'm not kidding. We're on cleaning video at the mother in law leaves coming up. Next, we need to put four and a half cups of flour. And I'm just gonna- Can I help? Yes. So I go, you can actually just stuff it in there. Go ahead. One, we need one. four. There's one. How many more do we need after that? Um, three. If we're, okay, so there's two. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Just put it in there. <laughs> it's it kind a of a little. wiggly one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good job, buddy. Okay. That. Okay, now we need a half <laughs> cup. Yeah. Okay, can you put that one in there? Okay. okay. Do we need to with this one? Nope, because yet I'll show you. 
And so then, I've already measured this at home, and this is a half a cup of wheat flour. It's a little bit yeah. different. See, it's a little bit browner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna put that in there. Yeah. And then, this is one tablespoon of kosher salt. Mom likes, yeah. you like that Himalaya salt? I do, like and that, that would salt. be really good in here too. So, so, I would use salt that doesn't have the iodine, just the more natural sea salts are good. So. One tablespoon of that. Okay. And this is one cup of yogurt. Greek yogurt is yeah, what you need. Look at it. I know it's just plain yogurt. I love yogurt. I know. This is not the sweet kind like vanilla that you like. This is kind of like sour cream. Do you like sour cream? I don't think I tried sour cream before. Oh, you need to try some of these things, don't you? Last year I I have press and seal. Perfect. Now, you want to hand me the, the wrapping stuff here? I'm like just a camera person today. I guess. Hopefully I get to be in the vlog sometime. <laughs> you can make the soup, remember? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could, we'll have to figure out if there's more room around us. Well, Blake was very excited to help Grandma okay. make the bread with the mixer. So, so you, know, you just kind of put it on top there loosely, like that. Okay? And you just put it on top of your refrigerator. All right, let me clean off my refrigerator. All right, so now we're putting this on top of my dirty fridge. Right. Cool. So here we go. We're going to put this dough with this plastic cover on top of the fridge. And I found that I really like it on the fridge because it's a little bit warmer up there. It's kind of consistently warm. Now, my house, it takes two hours for it to rise. So we can expect to come back to it in about two hours. So. Okay. All right. So now we're going to start working on the soup. Yay. Are you ready, Sherry? I'm ready. Yes, every time the snow. And it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace, and no one cares about yesterday. My favorite holiday. It means so much more than words can say. And I claim Christmas is a magic day. Sometimes I tend to forget what glory this holiday represents. But it's fair. that I can come home to Yes, I am on my way We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this Alright, so what are we going to be working on now? Well, probably the next thing we need to do is to put it in the Oh, can not see us. It got dark. Oh, here we are. Oh, here we are. Are we there? We're still Hi. dark. Here we are. Hi. Well, whatever. <laughs> Here's um, grass-fed hamburger okay. from my sister's farm. Nice. And there's, it is very low content of fat, so we might have to add just a tiny bit of oil. If you, normally when you buy a hamburger from the grocery store, you drain it, you brown, mm -hmm. you, know, you brown it up and then you drain it. This one you actually have to add a little fat too, so. Okay. Anyway, we're, look at that, we're blurry and, and no light. Hello. Can we go like this? There we go. Oh, I can see me again. Should we try it again? No. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to brown some ground beef. We're, yes. That's there right. we go. add more salt you can't take it out right that's true and I eat whatever salt is I do about a half the amount of pepper we'll, just see, we'll probably add more of those in a bit but we're going to start with this for now you can see I cook with my hand probably about that amount okay what is that chili powder oh okay it's not hot chili powder is not is what gives it the flavor you know, that you're looking for okay two things that I added so far that's extra 
is a little bit of cumin. Just probably about a teaspoon or something just to give it a little more flavor. That much maybe. And Worcestershire sauce? Yes. Sauce. Worcestershire. <laughs> yes. And I Good job, buddy. And I do like a glunk, glunk, glunk. So okay. whatever that is. <laughs> glunk, glunk, glunk. Now, however much glunk, glunk, glunk is. Yeah. That's probably like a tablespoon or so. Here, you can be in it, be in it for a minute. What's that? You can be in it for a minute, but oh. my arm will start to... What are we going to say? Power. I have no idea. <laughs> well, we've got, we've got the I just wanted to be in the vlog for a minute. This, this is perfect now, and now we're ready to add the rest of the vegetables. So, okay. so should we do it? Let's do it. Just carrots and celery. Let's go look inside with it. How do we put the beans in? Oh, that can go in too. Okay. Yeah, that's looking nice and bright. Diced tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, whatever kind of tomatoes you have. This okay. is very, very relaxed, okay? <laughs> I like relaxed cooking. And a can of water. A can of tomato sauce and a can of water? Right. Okay. This has turned into Terry's cooking vlog. Terry's cooking vlog channel. You should start your own channel. <laughs> Shouldn't she start her own little cooking channel? I don't know about it, but oh, I think you'd do so good. Oh man, oh, that was good. Again. Now, this is the secret part. Secret oh, ingredient. Gonna tell us a secret. I just use better than bullion. Oh, <laughs> it's better. But um, even better than that would be your homemade broth, which I have at home. So I didn't bring them with me. <laughs> I don't have that. And I'm going to leave this with you. So you can make lots of soups with this. Scott's going to love it. So get pretty generous with this, okay? Yeah. Okay. And you put a whole glump of it in there. A glump. I love how she measures things. Well, it will get a it's glump a, it's, in a, it. a, it's a thick. <laughs> okay. A thick tablespoon. A thick glump. A thick tablespoon. How about that? We'll start with that. And then you just kind of mix it up. Does that look good? Mm-hmm. When is the cabbage going? You know, I let this cook first, and then the cabbage I put in the last half hour. So okay. it still has a little crispness to it. So I'm not in there. This so, is going to be yeah. fun vlog. So. It's all, all over the place with the camera. I know. <laughs> so yeah, we, we can start cutting up the cabbage. Would okay. that be like exciting or what? <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> yeah. So, We're going to cut cabbage. So this is the cast iron that you cook the bread in, and this makes all the difference. So I'm going to put it in the oven and let it heat up along with the oven and I put the oven at 460. A lot of cabbage is that gonna fit? I don't know. Let's oh see. man. But you, we can keep whatever doesn't fit and you can add it later as you eat it down. You know, so it'll be good. We're just gonna let this sit because we're not gonna eat right away, right? No. We're just gonna let it marinate in there. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. Time we've heated the oven up to 460 and look how big it's grown again look at that isn't that pretty yeah and so now watch out Blake she's opening the oven it's very hot and we've got this pan in here that we put this is heavy very heavy it's cast iron so we gently put it on top of the stove Just put it in there and the parchment paper doesn't burn isn't that amazing oh stuff? oh the paper's going with it yes and then you go like this it back in. So how long is that going to cook for? 25 minutes. See the color of it? I want you to see it so you can see it's kind of a red. Yeah. And now we're going to turn it down. We'll say 20 for 20. We're going to open this up and pull it down a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not voiceovering that. That was funny. <laughs> Where's the method for this? 
down otherwise it's too, too hot for it. <laughs> there it goes. And now, another 25 minutes. Songs we all heard before as they walk from Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our winter soup collaboration that I did with Corey Hart. Make sure you go check out her channel down in the description, guys. You're absolutely going to love her. She's amazing. And then check down in the descriptions. I will put the links to the recipes that we did today. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye. Well, thanks for having me, Sherry. This was a lot of fun. Yes. And I look forward to watching... Corey's? Is that right? Corey Hart. Corey yes. Hart's. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing her YouTube too. Thanks. Yes, we'll have to do this again. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Lady with me under the mistletoe while Santa's busy saying ho ho ho. We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake and then.